Welcome to interaction between methadone and OPRM1 gene. Pain relief variability for morphine has shown significant association with gene polymorphisms. Variants in the mu opioreceptor gene change the analgesic effects of morphine. Methadone, a close synthetic cousin, was developed as an analgesic with the hopes of reducing addiction potential, but usage of the drug has become the mainstay of therapy not for pain management, but for long-term management of addiction to heroin and also other short-acting opiates like the incredible quantities used even by suburban housewives of such drugs as Oxycontin and Vicodin to name a few. The mechanism of methadone and OPRM gene interaction includes multiple distinct pharmacogenomic issues. They span both pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic pathways and affect both methadone efficacy and toxicity outcomes, a very complicated scenario. We will focus on the pharmacodynamic issues at the mu receptor site itself. This drug gene interaction does have great potential for studies with clinical relevance that likely should change the standard of care and addiction management. Safe and effective use of methadone relies on the optimization of dosing regimens so as to maximize blockade for prevention of withdrawal and cravings, but also to reduce side effect potential, which can be great, including respiratory depression and ventricular arrhythmias, such as QT prolongation. The OPRM1 controls response to analgesia and is also associated with dependency in some way and in other disease risks. Over 700 SNPs have been identified in the OPRM1 gene. Genetic variation in this gene is different between races and ethnicities. In the International HapMap project, genetic variation was studied and shown in African, U.S. citizens of European descent, Japanese, Han Chinese from Beijing. The A118G missense gene that is the variant with the adenine to guanine transition at nucleotide position 118 of the coding sequence, is reported to be important for endorphin binding and signaling of the receptor. This variant has a tenfold decrease in binding. This A118G SNP has been shown to be associated with reduced analgesia as well as reduced side effects. Not surprising is that this single genetic change has not been consistently found to affect methadone dosing requirements because we would guess that such is a complex heterogeneic nature of opioid dependence. Multivariate studies reveal significance of A118G variant with other genetic variables are controlled for. For example, ABCB1 variant that controls transport of drug High drug dosing is needed to suppress withdrawal in these studies. A possible explanation for the incidence of no association between A118G SNP and effects of opioids is that statistical powering was inadequate in studies as well as races and ethnicities in the sample populations. Associations between variants uh, and the gene were not found in every analysis, and there are differences among races and ethnicities and lead to different effect sizes in the analyses. The A118G variant is important for endorphin binding, and thus methadone maintenance dose optimization is suspect. It has reduced analgesia as well as reduced effects. Is the binding the etiology uh, for both of these? There are complex pharmacokinetic, pharmacodynamic pathways here. Potential linked gene studies should reveal more, so we should do these. For patients, we should pre-screen. We should do risk assessments with ECG, QT interval assessments on electrocardiogram, as well as genetic testing to look for wild type. If the variant is present, this is a sign that addiction uh, treatment should likely fail. Um, and that further challenges would be, it would be great to study uh, nascent populations, for example, study heroin-naive youth that may need methadone uh, in their future. Thank you so much for your attention.